Hi, Assalamualaikum and greetings to everyone. Here we meet again. My name is Madam Siti Hajar Binti Noor But in this lecture, I will explain to you another types of macromolecules which is nucleic acids. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. First thing, let's get to know what is nucleic acid. Nucleic acid is a macromolecule composed of chains of monomer called nucleotides. There are two types of nucleic acids. Can you guys guess? Sure, it is a deoxyribonucleic acid DNA and ribonucleic acid RNA. Okay, the most important in the nucleotide structure, as I mentioned earlier, nucleic acids are built from the subunits called nucleotides. These nucleotides have three main components, which is the 5 carbon or the pentose sugar, the nitrogenous base, and the phosphate group. Let's take a look on the diagram. So the middle part here is the pentose sugar. So this pentose sugar either be ribose or the oxyribose. And the right side of the pentose sugar is the nitrogenous base. This nitrogenous base can be either purine or pyrimidine. The last component, which is the phosphate group, are located at the left side of the pentose sugar. Okay, we go for the each of the component in the nucleotide structure. The first one is pentose sugar. There are two types of pentose sugar that make up the nucleotides, either deoxyribose or ribose. For deoxyribose, it can be found in DNA and why it is called as deoxyribose because at carbon number 2, it has hydrogen atom, thus lacking one oxygen atom, hence the name of this compound is known as deoxy. Meanwhile, ribose pentose sugar can be found in RNA and compared to DNA at carbon number 2, it has hydroxy group with one oxygen atom at each carbon backbone. Alright, now let's take a look at the second component of nucleotide structure which is the nitrogenous base. It also has two types of nitrogenous bases which are the purine and pyrimidine. For purine, purine is large double ring structure and the examples of purines are the adenine and guanine. For pyrimidine, it is a single ring structure and the examples of pyrimidine is cytosine, thymine and uracil. Let's take a look on the nucleotide structure again. It contains the pentose sugar and the phosphate group will join to the fifth carbon of pentose sugar while the nitrogenous base either A, T, C, G or U are attached to the first carbon of the pentose sugar. In this figure, it shows the difference between the DNA and RNA nucleotides. As I mentioned earlier, by looking at the carbon number 2 for DNA nucleotides, okay, the pentose sugar are lacking of oxygen atom. Only the hydrogen atom are exist here. But for the RNA nucleotide at carbon number 2, it consists of hydroxyl group with one oxygen atom. And the nitrogenous base for the DNA is A, C, G and T. But for nitrogenous base in RNA nucleotide, there are A, C, G and U. Just now, I already showed to you a structure of one nucleotide. So can you imagine the structure of polynucleotides where it consists of more than two nucleotides? Different nucleotides are joined to form a polynucleotide by a phosphodiester bond. And the process is called condensation process where water is being removed. As you can see here, there are four nucleotides that attach together by using the phosphodiester bond. So this is one nucleotide, second nucleotide, the third nucleotide, and the fourth nucleotide. Okay, now let's move to the types of nucleic acids. Basically, there are two types of nucleic acids, DNA and RNA. First, let me explain to you on the deoxyribonucleic acids, DNA. The function of DNA is to carry genetic information and only can be found inside the nucleus. The polynucleotide strand is very long. 
DNA is double helix structure where the two polynucleotide strands are joined together by hydrogen bonding. Again, the pencil sugar of the DNA I would like to highlight is the deoxyribose and the nitrogenous bases are the adenine, thymine, cytosine and guanine. Adenine will pair with the thymine while cytosine will pair with the guanine. Here in this figure show the DNA structure in brief. Here I would like to highlight the nitrogenous base pairing between the two polynucleotides they are connected by the hydrogen bonding so here is the hydrogen bond between the two polynucleotides and they are anti-parallel structure here in the DNA ladder you can see the sugar phosphate backbone they are located at the outer part of the nucleotides and the last part this is the structure of double helix where it is like a spiral structure. The most important thing you need to know about DNA is the Watson Creek DNA model. The DNA structure was proposed in 1953 by James Watson and Francis Creek. Here is the list of important features about Watson Creek DNA model. The first one is DNA double strand helix structure. They are spirally twisted around each other and supercoil. Second one, DNA is anti parallel, where 5'M of one strand is paired with the 3'N of its complementary strand. The third one is DNA sugar phosphate backbone, which this is located at the outside of the polynucleotide strand. Next, bond exists in the DNA structure. The first one is the phosphodiester bond. The phosphodiester bond where it connects between each nucleotide in the strand. And the second bond is hydrogen bond that connect between the nitrogenous base pair. Let me explain the second types of nuclear acid which is the RNA. RNA play important role in protein synthesis. It can be found mainly in cytoplasm. Somehow, RNA can be found inside the nucleus, but mainly inside the cytoplasm. The polynucleotide strand is very short, and it only exists in a single polynucleotide strand. There is no double helix structure. The pentose sugar for RNA sure is ribose. The nitrogenous base is adenine, uracil, cytosine, and guanine. And the most important thing to highlight about RNA is there are three types of RNA which are mRNA, rRNA, and tRNA. Okay, this figure shows the RNA structure, the primary and the secondary structure. In the secondary structure also persists the hydrogen bond between the nitrogenous bases. Here I would like to explain the complementary base pairing. The thymine or uracil will pair with the adenine by using the double hydrogen bonds, while cytosine will pair with the guanine using a triple hydrogen bond. Now I will briefly explain each type of RNA. The first one is the messenger RNA. It is a long single strand RNA. It transcripts the genetic code by carrying instruction on the sequence of amino acids from DNA inside the nucleus and carry out to the ribosome inside the cytoplasm. That is why I have told you just now that RNA can also be found in the nucleus, which only the mRNA. The second type of RNA is the ribosomal RNA. It composing the structural component for ribosomes and it provides the site of polypeptide to assemble. Last but not least, the transfer RNA. This tRNA is the smallest RNA. The function of tRNA is to convert the DNA information into polypeptide sequences which is the protein. And this slide showed you the structure of each types of RNA, the mRNA, rRNA and tRNA. Okay, here we are the last slide for this lecture, the summary of what I have explained earlier. DNA versus RNA. The comparison between the DNA and RNA. The pentose sugar of DNA is deoxyribose, while the pentose sugar for RNA is ribose. The nitrogenous base pair for DNA is A, 
G, C, and T, while the RNA, the thymine, is replaced with the uracil. The number of strands for DNA is double-stranded and they are formed in a double helix structure, while RNA is a single-strand structure. Okay, that's the end of nucleic acid topics. These are all the references and thank you from me. Till we meet again, bye-bye.